guys, welcome back to another episode of 89 Garage. Coming at you from my laundry room right now because I have to fix my dryer again. What we are doing today will apply to several different models and makes of dryers. This one is a Maytag Centennial. This will also apply to Whirlpools, Kenmore, Roper. There's, there's a couple more in there too. In fact, down right here somewhere, I will put the different makes that this covers. This same basic setup was used for years and years and years. What we have today, my element is staying on when the dryer is not running. Um, <clears throat> so yesterday, this this thing's been giving me quite a run. But yesterday, this belt broke. Uh, it's down there now. Anyway, yesterday I replaced the belt. Actually put the original belt back in it because... Uh, the roller for the belt was bad, so I replaced that and then it came with a new belt. New belt already broke. And then I noticed that the timer, this thing's old, so that's why it looks like it does. <laughs> but I was noticing the timer, we use time dry all the time. Uh, 70 minutes is what we do. But I was noticing that this timer was going all the way back to here to turn off instead of here or there. So last night I actually also put a timer in it. Just wondering if that would also help with the heating element situation where it's coming on when it's not running. And that did not help. So that leads us to one of two things that this could be. Either that heating element is grounded out, which is very possible. I've literally replaced that thing a million times, I swear. Or the cycle thermostat could also be bad. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to pull this off. I have one of each. I have an element and a thermostat. If it winds up being one of those two, we'll replace it and we'll be fixed. But uh, I'll be honest with you. As you can tell, I've, I've replaced quite a bit on this dryer already. And last night, I was pretty frustrated and went down and ordered a new dryer that is supposed to be here Friday. And today's Saturday. So... We got a ways, you know, pretty much a week of laundry that's got to hopefully get done in the meantime. I'm going to go kick my breaker back on and just show you what this thing is doing. I want to make sure this is on off first. I'm just going to put time on this. Can you hear that heating up already? You can literally hear it. I don't want to heat it up too much though. So I'm actually just going to unplug this because we're going to be working on it. I don't want it to be too hot. What we'll need to get to it is just a quarter inch. I usually uh, use this little impact on it. Then the other item we need is a meter and uh, we'll open this up in a second. But uh, for right now, let's go around and get all these screws out that we need to. Okay. I just, I just loosen this one up. I usually leave this loose and in there and then remove the rest of them. The reason being is that one is slotted. This one helps you uh, kind of align things when you put it back together. So I usually just leave that one in there. This here's a door that uh, covers up all the electrical connections. So I'm basically going to go around and just remove all these all the way around and then I'll be back. There's no point showing you all that, right? All right, all the screws are out. Now you just take this here, uh, slide it down off of that and then just kind of wiggle this around a little bit. Got to spin this, get that off of there. 
Okay, now we're in here. This is our heating element. And this here, okay, just make sure you're unplugged before you start dilly-dallying in here. This one here is gonna be our cyclic thermostat. So I'm going to remove these here. I'm gonna have to use my screwdriver. And this has two screws in it. Second screw is out. I'm gonna bring this up to the top and we're gonna test it. You can use yourself a pretty basic meter to do this too. You don't have to have a really high dollar one. All right, so right there, the orange. That's our symbol for testing resistance, and we need to be on that. We're uh, looking for this to say zero, if it is good. All right, the fact that's beeping tells me it's good. And we're, yeah, we're at zero if you can read that. So this is good. These are where you hook up the element. I, I can already tell by listening to it, it sounds like it's touching. We don't want this to be in contact with this. So we can test that without even removing it. This here is just a giant loop of a heating element. So both these here should touch. Like they are. Now, we do not want to hear that noise if I touch this. And we do. So, we're gonna pull this off. We'll just use a screwdriver. Get this one screw here. Then there's another one identical on the other side. Just straight across. And we're going to take this element out. We're going to look and see where it's touching. Now that you got both, actually, you know what? Here, we should have removed these first. Okay, now, now you just basically take this and pull like this and down. Now we gotta figure out where it's touching. We're touching on the metal right here. This is metal, that's metal, and that's touching right there. In fact, it's welded itself to it. So, I can do one of two things. I can either bend that out and live this thing out and it's probably gonna fail right there. Or I can actually, I've got another one right here that I repaired, it lasted about a month. I repaired that. And it's, it's very solid again. It actually just broke off of right there. So I think I'm gonna put this one back in there. I think that's a good plan. And this way we can have ourselves a dryer again. These are kind of a universal element and I'll put a link to these in the description. But they, they actually come with this tab, like bent in. You gotta bend it outwards like this for this thermostat to fit in here. Otherwise it doesn't fit. But I mean, it's just, just bend it over with pliers or something. Let's use this since it's right here. Okay. These two bumps fit into these two grooves on the back of this. That's kind of what holds this thing up there when you put it back together. If you got your whole thing of screws sitting out, the ones that have a pointy tip on it are actually what goes into into the thermostat and hold the element in.
All right, now we gotta wire this thing back up. I've taken this off so many times that I just know where they go. I'm actually gonna maybe pinch on that a little bit because it's a little loose. <laughs> All right, we are back together. I'm gonna put the back back on this. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, I'm gonna plug this thing back in and we'll just make sure that thing doesn't kick on. All right, it is not heating up. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead now and put this thing all back together. Basically, I'm putting all the screws in the back of this. I gotta hook up dryer duct again, which is right there. We'll come back in and start it up and just show you that it works. And then we'll be back in business. It's clean. in business I just here in a second we're gonna make sure that this heating elements working but it is warm in there so it is working cool thanks again for watching another episode of 89 garage everything that I used I'm gonna put down in the description and hopefully that helps you guys out have a wonderful week